Hello YouTube! Welcome to the next beer review from the Master of Puppets, Army Peter. As I said in my last review of Orwell, I was going to review uh, the McKellar It's Alive uh, from McKellar, which is a tribute to the Orwell beer uh, from Belgium and should be pretty much alike. Um, now, McKellar, I'm pretty sure well, some of you might not know it, uh, but a lot of you might know it as well. But it's a Danish brewery, or it's actually, it was founded in 2006 by two friends, uh, Mikkel Borg Bjergsø and Christian Klaup Keller. Hence the name Mikkel, or Mikkel, and uh, the last name of Christian Keller, Mikella. But it's only uh, uh, Mikkel who brews uh, beer now. Uh, and it's, it was, um, I, I think they have a small... Uh, 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 brewery, I'm not sure, but it was started out really as a phantom brewery uh, where they traveled around or uh, traveled around the world. It was actually first it was just a hobby the guys had. And they thought it was fun brewing beer together, but now they travel around the world brewing different beers at different breweries. For example, at like Three Floyds and De Pouf Bovai in Belgium and like at Brewdog over in Scotland and just all around the world and in my opinion this is one of the best breweries uh, in well definitely Europe uh, maybe one of the best I think it won it was like the sixth position sixth place uh, the sixth best brewery in the world I think it was it won that award in 2008 or something I'm not sure I think it was back then but they make amazing beer and uh, I haven't had the Mikella It's Alive before, but it should be a whole lot like all, uh, since it's a tribute. But I'll just read aloud what it says here on the bottle, or translate it. Okay, It's Alive is Mikella's answer and tribute to the Travis Beer Orwell. It's Alive is an easy to drink beer with a lot of hops. The color is amber, the form is high, white and dense. The potent Bretanomyces culture make it's alive continued to develop in the bottle and again it uses Brettanomyces uh, yeast like the Orwell but um, it says here that it's been brewed six years before the at least best before date and it says 2014 so this must be from 2008 so this one has been aging uh, it's 8% ABV so fairly heavy beer and it's got this cool foil thing uh, but uh, it should be pretty pretty good, uh, like most of McKellar's beer. And I'm going to have some reviews of a lot of uh, McKellar beer soon. And also other Danish breweries like Beer Here and Horn Beer. But um, let's just try and get this foil off. It's stuck to here pretty good. And that's it. And just a plain black... Uh, Thing. It's not a, a real cork, it's like a that plastic cork, you know, uh, but I'm just going to open it. But McKellar, really, you got to check him out if you haven't tried any McKellar. It, I know it's quite expensive, especially if you buy it in the States because it's imported, but give it a try. When you've tried it first, you'll love it. Now, this might ta take a while because I'm not the best at opening these types of bottles. So now I almost got the cork out, uh, so I just... I just w wanted to wait so you guys could see the opening. Uh, poo! Smoke! Like creeping out of there. When it's these plastic corks, I find them a whole lot more difficult to get out compared to regular cork. Uh, but let's pour this McKinner It's Alive. By the way, there's brewed different versions of the It's Alive. It's called. They also brew one called It's Aight, which <laughs> which is a lighter version, a session beer, and then the US Alive, which is just the same, just brewed with American hops. Let's pour it. Let's pour it. <laughs> Particularly this, just like the same color as the, the oval. Maybe a bit darker. Well, I'm not sure. Oh, generous head there. But color, hmm. Dark amber color again, maybe a bit darker than the oval. Looks really good. Looks to have a lot of carbonation and a 
quite solid fluffy just turn on a light as you see because it gets again fairly dark fairly quickly in Denmark but let's check out this uh, and then now you might also better see the color of the beer I'm not sure but um, let's check out the aroma it smells a lot more hoppy than the all Or the Orwell in my opinion I got <laughs> head on my nose um, smells Oh, very hoppy, uh, a bit spicy as well, and not too yeasty compared to the Orwell. Uh, but very solid, like a Duvel head on this beer. Like really, really creamy and thick. But let's give it a taste. Mmm! Wow, that is pretty good. Ooh! Uh, a lot different, actually. Somewhat different. Still a lot like the Orwell. This is, by the way, it's a Belgian strong ale. I forgot to mention that. It's not a Belgian ale like the Orwell, and that's because it's 8% alcohol by volume, and that's 6. Uh, but, mm, got a sort of a smoky flavor to it. Uh, quite spiced, very hoppy. Definitely not as yeasty as the Orwell, but it is very good. Uh, mm, this is almost like a cross between an IPA I would say and a Belgian strong ale because it's got that very hoppy spice spiced uh, bite to it uh, like for example in this uh, Victory Hop Devil and it's not really yeasty um, it, but it's a very smoky actually for some weird reason but it's very good uh, now this review is going to be fairly quick because Right, I'm, I want to compare the two beers right now, but rating-wise, this is going to get, uh, I think it's going to get 90, 90. Yeah, okay, it's quite difficult, because you got to think that it's a build, keep in mind, it's a Belgian strong ale. But this is a more, more like an IPA, actually, but I'm going to rate it fairly high, because it is very good. Uh... I'm gonna give this a. I think I'm gonna give this the same as the do do uh, the the Orwell a 92. Uh, it's pretty good, pretty solid, uh, but very very different Belgian strong ale. And that's the thing about McKellar actually. You never know what you're gonna get because they experiment so much with their beers. But a 92. But now let's get the Orwell and compare the beers. Uh, color wise, they're almost identical. The Orwell is a bit lighter, uh, a bit more uh, light in color. The the um, it's alive from McKellar. It's more uh, a, a dark amber color, but you sh mostly the same. Let's check out the aromas. Okay, huge difference here. Uh, hoppy, very hoppy, very yeasty. Uh, that's the difference here, uh, and more sweet. The 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 Orwell. Smells overall great, but let's start with the original. Yeah, hoppy, quite hoppy, very yeasty, uh, and pretty good. Let's try the it's alive. I wouldn't. Well, you can taste that it is as, as the tribute to. Um, Orwell, because it's a lot like Orwell, but still, it's not a lot like Orwell because it's so different. It is so hoppy compared to the Orwell. Uh, let's try again. <laughs> I must say, I actually prefer the McKenna. Uh, yeah, being a bit of a hophead myself. I think I like the McKellar more uh, because it's so hoppy but both beers are exceptional and I like um, this tribute is great and Orwell is great as well uh, you gotta check out both of these beer, uh, beers guys if you can get them uh, both of them are very very good so here we have them the Original from Belgium, Orwell, and the Danish Tribute, It's Alive, from McKellar. Check those beers out, dudes, and um, check out my other reviews, man. Uh, gonna have some exciting new reviews up soon, and uh, 
<laughs> Cheers with two glasses. And I'll see you next time.